What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for The Legend of Zelda? This is Do You Nerd, a variety channel celebrating all the things that we nerd out about, and one of them happens to be The Legend of Zelda, which is why I, Tom, and the lovely Lady Lacey here have decided to see if we have 1,000 items in our Zelda collection. And you know we do. We're, we're, hey, yeah, we're counting it down. This is going to be a fun one because these were some figures, first of all, that we got from GameStop. Now, these were uh, like little mystery figures, yeah. kind of the, the gachapon, like the little, little bag eggs, the capsule toys. And essentially what it's doing is it's celebrating the lineage of Zelda games by featuring Link and Zelda from various games. Like, yeah. for instance, you have young Link and young Zelda from Ocarina of Time. Young Link could use the slingshot, so he is posing with that. And Zelda is in that mid-turn whenever she first meets the hero of time. Don't worry, honey, you'll grow into those ears. <laughs> These are very big figures, considering that they came from the little capsule toys. You have Skyward Sword Link. And he's got that sword skyward because on the Wii you used motion controls. And there's nothing better than running around Hyrule thinking this high rules as you swing it around and, and look like a fool. The Wii Mote is one of Nintendo's most unique controllers, but did you know Nintendo programmed the Wii Remote with all kinds of hidden secrets and Easter eggs? For example, if you hold the A and B button down on your Wii Remote and reset on your N64, you'll see. I want to hear the well, funny enough, Link is actually left-handed, but in Skyward Sword, they did make him right-handed because the majority of people are righties. You're all wrong. Sorry, she's a lefty. I'm always right. And we have, of course, Skyward Sword Zelda with her harp very much fully embracing her reincarnated stature of the goddess in this one. I wanted a loft wing, but <laughs> they didn't make one. Then I found out they weren't real. Thanks for nothing, George Lucas. Now, last up, we have, uh, sorry, Captain Algebra, but we do have Toon Link here from Wind Waker. And his big giant jammies on. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he looks great. He's ready for adventure. Um, this next one is curious, though. And we, we do have Tetra. We actually got quite a few of Tetra because we thought there was something wrong. Yeah, you thought maybe you got a, you know, the, the coloring was off on one of them. No, apparently the whole line of so them. She spent a long time on the like beach that. and got really, really tired. I tell you what, as far as her living the pirate life, it makes sense. So, fair enough. Now, I believe, uh... She's the only one that we have with any accessories right here. Yes. And since we opened our toys, we did the Cardinal Evil and we glued them down because that is a tiny heart container and we did not want to lose that. <laughs> but still, these are fun little pieces. Uh, we did get the whole set of these, which is really great because they look great. They're fantastic display pieces. And even though they're so tiny, they're very, very expressive. And, and they're very detailed. And I thought they were really cool. Plus, we, uh, we knew someone at GameStop at the time, and he helped us know whenever there were new capsules coming in. Next up are a couple of figures that the lovely Lady Lacey got for me. I had to track these down. Now, what was the big surprise for you when these finally showed up? They were tiny. They are super, super tiny. They didn't look that <laughs> tiny in the picture. Now, I honestly do not recall if this was the full set. Do you remember if this was all of them in this line? I think it was, because I think I was able to buy the whole set. Okay. Now, if I'm wrong, the person lied to me when I bought them. <laughs> <laughs> These are figures from Hyrule Warriors. You have Link with his uh, fantastic blue scarf. I need that scarf. I think maybe you do need that I scarf. I like it. But that's a long scarf. Don't get it caught on anything. I'm short, so it'll drag on the ground. <laughs> Princess Zelda in this just great come at me, bro pose. I I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't mess with her. She's got attitude and baditude. Attitude? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I remember. Was it Lana? 
Lana! Lana! Danger zone! I, 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 I think I forgot her name. I think it's Lana. I'm leaning towards Lana. Don't make fun of me, future Tom. Yes, past Tom. It is Lana, the white sorceress, young, energetic, a deep knowledge of spells and monsters. She helped in the war across the ages. <laughs> oh, I forget how stupid you were in the past. And then Ganon <laughs> with his wicked sword. Look at this thing. How this, are you supposed to sharpen that thing? Uh, you're going to use a lot of stone on that. That thing's going to cleave through anything. I feel like he took the chapter out of the Scottish book where they were just like, we don't care if it's sharp. We're just going to hack the crap out of you. You know, with a sword that big, <laughs> yeah, I more. tell you what, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's sharp or not. It's hacking away. He is a redhead at all, after all. Oh, so anyway, uh, some Hyrule Warriors figures, micro figures, and then a line of Zelda and Link's through the ages. But we are going to turn it over to one of our nerdlings to show off their Zelda collection. Hello! Did you miss me? Too bad. So for those who don't know, my name is Jorgogo. Uh, not that Jorgogo. I don't know who that freak show is. But yeah, this is me. This is what I look like, and I'm sorry if you expected some some form of animation content on this uh, Do You Nerd video, but there is a reason why you're seeing me here, because I have something to show you. I did give a special thank you for Do You Nerd for letting me, a letting me be a part of this, because although I may not have a Legend of Zelda collection, I do have a very crucial Legend of Zelda item I want to share with all of you. And thank you so much again for giving me this opportunity to do so. So, without further ado, I will be right back. Ooh, ooh this is chunky. Look at that. Oh, God, look at that. Yeah, it's chunky. Look at that. It's freaking big. So, yeah, this is a 24 by 36 Legend of Zelda poster. And so, the reason why it's special to me... Oh, maybe I should hold the mic. The reason why it's special to me is because I made it myself. I actually painted it using Clip Studio Paint. And, and then I used a local printing shop to print it on a plastic poster. So yeah, it's not a paper poster. It's not matte either. People think that it's matte, but no, it's just a very heavy plastic material. So with that being said, you have to try to actually like damage this thing. It's, it's a very heavy plastic material. So as you can see, the game that I specifically painted was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That is my current favorite Legend of Zelda game. Uh, so what I wanted to paint was my well, a first-hand experience of, like, one of the very first, like, idiotic deaths that I have encountered. Like, I did not know how you can fish in the game. Like, I just used to, like, going up to fish, like, in the lake and just, uh, just like, grabbing them. Uh, but I did not know that you could throw a bomb in the lake and then just detonate it and grab the fish that are dead already. So, what I did is I dropped the bomb in the lake, like, right next to the pond and, well... Take a guess. All these brushes that I use to like make all the nature around here, uh, I made them myself as well. Uh, I thought of like going inside like uh, there's this thing in Clip Studio called Clip Studio Assets where you can go to and you can download other brushes other creators have made. See, here's the thing though. If I were to uh, like get every brush for almost every type of foliage like uh, the tree leaves or uh, the grass, if I just combine many, many different brushes from many, many different artists, it was good, just going to look very, very weird and very, very bad. So I just decided, you know what? I'm going to make the brushes myself. I made the tree brushes myself. I made the grass brushes myself. Uh, pretty much everything here I did myself. So this isn't the only poster that I have. There's, I, I actually have three of these. Uh, I've been going to a couple of the conventions uh, trying to get these of uh, Forever Home. And that's not all. Uh, these are also on my Etsy page. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, right here. There, like there's the name. Just the... Yeah, it, yeah, it's there. If if you're interested. Again, a very, very special thank you to you, do you nerd, for uh, letting me uh, showcase this poster to y'all. So I hope you don't mind. I'm going to put this back on the coffee table now. Oh, no, no. Don't worry. We're still listening. I was just trying to look at all the incredible detail in these things. It's hard to do because they're very small. So again, another great look at some more fantastic Zelda pieces. Links in the description to all of the uh, guests. Links. Link. <laughs> <laughs> 
We got a lot of links here. That we have There's on our journey to see if we have 1,000 Zelda items. And Lana, maybe not Lana, keeps dropping her book. So I'll take care of that later. Anyway, guys, leave some comments down below. Let us know if you are a Legend of Zelda fan and if you would like to join us and share with us some of your collection. If you could send us a video of two minutes or less, hit the email down below. Leave those comments, like, subscribe. Let's see if we can make it to 1,000 Zelda items, even if we're counting the small stuff. What do you guys think that 1,000 item will be? Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, he did. Why is he trying to hit her with his... Okay, he's not trying to hit her with his, hit her with his slingshot. But I mean, young She's Link... Could... away. And he's got that sword. Sky reward. I'm gonna look at them because they're so tiny. Oh dear. Oh dear. He thinks I'm gonna be funny. But I'm not funny because I don't have anything to say. <laughs>